Hi guys and welcome back to Bite Size Excel. In our last few videos, we have looked at the index and match functions and how we use these together. In today's video, we're going to look at a slightly more complicated example of using index and match together and also using drop down lists. So in this instance, we have an example of a lot of tables which are in the same format but for different years. So we have exam and coursework results for a list of students for 2018, 2019 and 2020. And what we want to be able to do is select in this box at the top the name of the student, whether we want to look up their exam or their coursework results, what year we want to look it up in and have it return the correct value. So to do this, we're going to start with setting up some drop down lists. So we'll start with the name. So to do this, we go to our data tab. We come over to our data tools group and go to data validation, click in. And what we want to select from this drop down is a list. And then we want to select our list of names. And if we click OK, we then have a drop down list where we can select our students names. Next, we want to have what we want to look up. And in this instance, we want it either to be our exam results or our coursework. So we'll go back into data validation, again, select list and just select those two values, click OK. And finally, we want to have the year. We can again create a drop down list. Now, you don't have to create a drop down list. You can type in your values manually. And we'll click OK. Now we're going to build up, first we're going to use our match function to find our rows and our columns that we want to look up. So what we'll do is match. We will select the value we want to look up, where we want to look it up. And we're going to make that absolute and we want to make it an exact match. And again, we're going to do the same thing for the heading. So we're going to match, look up our exam result. We want to look it up in all our headings. So we'll make that absolute again. And again, we want an exact match. So now you'll see if you change it to coursework, it'll be column four rather than column three. And in the same way, if we change our name, it will give us a different row reference. Now in this particular example, we need all our names in each of our tables to be in the same order. And in this last one, we want to look up which table number our year is. So if it's match, and look up 2018. We want to look it up here. And again, we want an exact match. And you'll see then that this will change. Now, when we looked at our index function, we looked at how you set it up so that it's in reference form. And this is basically where you select a number of separate arrays, but included in one index formula. So to do this, we're going to type equals index. And when you have it in reference form, you have to open a second bracket and then select your three different arrays. And we're going to close our brackets and then we're going to do as per normal. We're going to put in our row reference, then our column reference. And then the last one, which is optional, is which of these three areas you want to look up in. In this instance, it's going to be the first one because we're looking at 2018. And we're going to hit enter. And you'll see if you're looking up an exam result for Glenn in 2018 you get a score of 50, which is correct. If you were to look at 2019, Glenn got 77, that's correct. And he got 37 in 2020. Now we don't need to have our match functions separate to this column. I just did that to show how you build it up. So we can actually replace these cell references in here with the match functions themselves. So we click in here and copy the function part. That's our row reference, so we'll replace this one. Then we go to our column. 
and replace that part of our formula. And then we go to our reference and replace that part. And we can delete these now. They're no longer being referenced by our formula. And now if we change it to any other person on the list, it creates a very dynamic lookup amongst all your tables. So that's a slightly more complex example of how you can use your index match but reference different tables. As I've said previously, it does allow you to do your lookups in a much more dynamic way than you might be able to do with other functions. If you've got any questions, please do let me know in a comment. Please like and subscribe, and I do look forward to seeing you in a future video.